Hey guys, Elparker77 here and welcome back to some more possible FIFA 15 silvers. As I mentioned in the first episode, all of these ratings are mainly based on SoFIFA.com and also the head-to-head -head ratings of FIFA, which are updated every single week. There's quite a few different players here, as I mentioned, that could be made into silvers from gold, so you haven't had the best seasons and are probably due a downgrade now. And the first of these is Asaidi, who is on loan from Liverpool to Stoke. Although he has played fairly well for Stoke when he's been given a chance, I can't really see him returning to Liverpool, so... Who knows where he's going to be next season, but the likelihood is he probably will be end up being made into a silver and he could have some sort of similar stats to this with decent pace, decent dribbling, fairly good shooting and likelihood is will also have the 5 star skill moves and 4 star weak foot. So it could be one of the best silver left wingers on the game. On to the next player and that is Atsu, the Ghana, I think it's Ghana, Ghana left winger on loan from Chelsea. I think Chelsea bought him from Porto and sent him straight out on loan to Viteze like most of their players to be honest. And as called as Sofifa, he has actually been playing as a centre attacking mid. So that could be why he's getting a downgrade as his pa passing isn't actually that great for a centre attacking mid. But it could be a very, very nice player alongside the Vitesse Labayad as well if he ends up staying there. He should probably have three star skill moves and two star weak foot, but would make a really nice wide centre attacking mid in something such as a 4 2 3 1. On to the next player, and that is Darren Bent. Hasn't played particularly well for Fulham this year. I think the new manager hasn't actually really been playing him at striker, to be honest. He's been playing mostly younger strikers, and he hasn't really had much of a chance this season. So like his, he is due for a downgrade, and he's getting older. So I do reckon it could be possible to make him into a 74. Like his, he'll probably end up being like a non-rare 75, something like that. But I could see him being a 74, and being one of those silvers with really, really nice shooting next year. We'll probably have three-star skimmers and three-star weak foot, and fairly good pace with pretty poor dribbling to be honest. Next player is Sissoko for Liverpool on loan from Lyon and he could be could end up being made into a silver. I've got no idea if this is going to happen. He hasn't played too much at Liverpool but when I have seen him he's not been too bad but Liverpool have been playing well this season. So he could be downgraded from a 75 to a 74 and if he does end up back at Lyon he could be a very very nice left back to go with all the other Lyon defenders who are probably silvers and may not get an upgrade as well. We will have okay stats, not really great stats for a silver left back but okay stats nonetheless. Next player is Juru, who I think I can't even I don't even know if he's been bought by Hamburg from Arsenal. Probably has left Arsenal and gone to Hamburg properly now. But I did predict last year he'd become a silver, and in my opinion, he really should have become a silver as he hasn't been playing amazingly, and Hamburg's defence isn't the best. But I do reckon this year or ne next year in FIFA 15, that is the year when he could become a silver. And although he's not the best player in real life. In terms of FIFA, he is probably going to be one of those really, really overpowered centre-backs who's fairly tall with very, very good pace and good defence and heading. Next player is Rod Fanny, another one of those French defenders who could actually be downgraded. I'm not sure how well he's been playing this year, but as far as I'm aware, Marseille and the likes of Lyon aren't doing as well compared to Monaco and also Paris Saint-Germain in the French League. So he could be due, to, due for a downgrade and could end up getting downgraded from a 76 to a 74 and would probably make him one of the most solid silver right backs on the game. And on to the last player, another one of my favourites, another one of my favourites in terms of the players I've already had a look at, and that is a silver that could get an upgrade. That is Fernandez, the Chile centre mid that plays for Fiorentina. And this year he has unfairly been given fairly low low pace and other stats when he should have been given fairly higher stats. Currently on head to head, he is 74 rated, been upgraded to around 77 pace given a slight upgrade on his shooting and dribbling as well, so it does look like a very, very nice card. And you'll also see down there, he's also been given an upgrade from two star, from I think it's from four star skill moves to five star skill moves and with four star weak foot as well. So it could look to be one of the best silver centre mids or centre attacking mids in the game next year. And will be very, very expensive if he does get five star skills. So there we go guys, that is it for episode two of my possible FIFA 15 silvers. Obviously, as I mentioned, all based on so FIFA and the head to head stats. So if you don't agree with them, let me know in the comments. But a lot of them are fairly likely to happen or hopefully possible unless they play really well in the World Cup or between now and the end of the season. So if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to hit the like and thanks for watching guys. Cheers.